trips are a major problem in greenhouse horticulture. They can easily overwinter and attack plants early in the season. The eggs of thrips are kidney-shaped and are laid in leaves, flower petals, and in the soft parts of stalks. Before a female deposits an egg, she first makes an opening in the plant tissue. After hatching, the larva immediately begins to feed on plant tissue. The first instar larva molts into a second instar larva. This second stage larva is bigger and has more color. At the end of the second instar, the larva usually falls to the ground to pupate. Pupation occurs in natural crevices in the ground or lower leaf surfaces. The prepupal and pupal instars are recognizable by their developing wing buds. The adult thrips has a fully developed pair of fringed wings. Thrips cause damage to the plant by piercing the cells of the surface tissues and sucking out their contents, causing the surrounding tissue to die. The resulting silver-gray patches on leaves and the black dots on their excreta indicate their presence in the crop. Thrips are also responsible for the transmission of viruses. Luckily, they can be controlled by a range of natural enemies. Check out our YouTube channel and website for more information.